like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Like 600k by the end of that, like in two years or something. By the time it's seen. the best way to explain being a developer is that you basically just print money. That's basically what you do. You just you can make so much crazy money, and you don't even need to work at a big company to make money. Um, for example, after I learn HTML, CSS, a little bit of JavaScript, and maybe a dab of jQuery. Um, I wanted to get some side, side income. Um, so I, I was trying to figure out what's the best backend uh, language to learn. Um, and so I looked at the PHP because I can use that with my front-end developer experience and I can use it with freelancing. And it'll teach, it also is needed with WordPress. So you just hit three birds or one stone. And you get to that freelance world and you start making money through hosting people's sites. Um, you can create the page, host it. You can um, charge for a maintenance fee too. So, for example, you can walk to a company um, and you know, say for like a barber shop, like, hey, you guys have a site up, and they'll so they'll say, no, we don't. Or you can say, even if you don't have that experience, I recommend do do something for free. Your first few projects or whatever is not going to be a big chunk of change. Just do something for free. Build your your um your Resume up. So, like for me, for example, I went to a barbershop. I actually had a site offer to do the site for them for free, but I charged them a maintenance and hosting fee. So, I was charging them $50, $50 a month just for that. Send me the link to that website real quick. Oh, wait. All right. Already... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, you make a lot of money hosting. Uh, and then, you know, if you do one thing for free in community, they're going to talk about it. Like someone's like, hey, man, I got this guy, you know, he did a site for for free and this and that. And, you know, of course, when I recommend someone to you, it's not going to be for free. So they're kind of bringing you customers and clients by word of mouth. And before you know it, you're going to have too many clients that you can keep up with. You're going to be like, hey, I'm not accepting any more people. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, right now I have 20. Let me check. Hold on. I have 20. I have 22 clients right now. Um, some of them are charged 25 a month. Some are charged 50 a month, depending on how big their company is. And I try to stay with small companies because big companies will want all your time and attention. And they may feel like they can tell you what to do a little bit. And it gets kind of annoying. So I stick with small people where you can update their pages and host it with no stress. You know, yeah. get, I'd rather get a bunch of small clients than... Two big clients. Unless it's a really fucking big client, eh? Yeah, well, you know, that's that's contract work. And I haven't got to I haven't got any huge contracts yet, but that's what I'm leaning towards. Word. That's what you're leaning towards? Uh to get some big contract work? Yeah. So I, I think I want to brush up a little bit more on my JavaScript because I, I know I know some JavaScript, but it's not where I think I want to be. Um, and so I am almost done with this React course, and I'm gonna go back up and just just keep learning more about JavaScript because it, it's a, it's an amazing thing to have on your resume. And p- people don't know that you can make uh, some people knock WordPress down, but man, the market there is it's it's crazy. It's really crazy. You can learn WordPress, how to build like a WooCommerce site in maybe two days. You can sell that site to a company for like a thousand dollars, man. It, and you're like, man, I can't believe this took me twenty hours, and I, I sold this for like five hundred to a thousand dollars. And then I'm hosting them. I'm charging them a hosting fee and a maintenance fee, and it's it's crazy, man. It's really I see people make some crazy money off that. People quit their normal jobs just to leave out live off freelancing. Um, I knew another Christian dude. He was a uh... Was, uh before he was an electrician he was doing uh like wordpress and um 
just knocking. He says he was just knocking out freelance websites like that. Yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. Man. Because if you think, if, even if you start off really slow, right? Say you have, say you start off with, I don't know, 10 people within five months. I I, I say do a couple of free projects because then you kind of get your feel on what you need to learn. And you kind of get, it's kind of different learning with clients because then instead of doing stuff your way, you have to act, you kind of challenge yourself a little bit. So say you get 10 clients, right? You get 10 clients, you charge them all 50 bucks a month. That's like an extra $500 in your pocket. And uh, you work with your own contract. So to get people to sign on to the maintenance or hosting deal, you tell them, hey, I will host this for you for $50 a month. Or if you want me to update something for you, add a navigation. If you want me to add uh, we uh, so your products on. I charge seventy five dollars an hour. I would say I try because some people charge more than that. So you tell I, I charge seventy five dollars an hour. So if they keep coming to you, you be like, hey man, you're wasting a lot of money just pay me seventy five dollars every other week. You might as well just sign up for that fifty dollars a month, and people will take that. People will definitely take that. And then it's you just go your thing from there, man. It's it's really crazy. And also, I would say try to go to workshops and meetups. Uh, you go to meetup.com, see if there's any meetups in your area. And if there isn't, start one yourself. You know, even even if you have three, four people, start one yourself. And then you can add that to your resume. You know, I had a meetup with JavaScript with four people. Uh, I taught them this. And it looks really good on you, especially if you don't have any experience or you're not going to school to be a developer. It's it's a huge like you know. It looks really good on you. No, that's true, man. That's absolutely true. And so also, um, some people will ask, you know, why why would I do a couple free projects in the beginning? Like, why would I do that? So what you do, even though you don't get paid, just think about it like it, it pays off at the end. So you can say, hey, um, if I do this for you, can you go to my LinkedIn and add like a link? Um, like a little um, re- recommendation thing for you and it'll add like a little nice little comment on you and you just build that up and that looks good your resume too. For real, man. I don't and, understand that. Uh, that's probably the best thing they can do for themselves just if, to get their foot in the door. And for me too, um, I also, I, I went on LinkedIn and I just had to add the developers in my area. I mean, it may sound dumb. I know I'm not really sure it's good advice, but I just went, just started adding people on LinkedIn, the developers, just add and add and just put them the in network thing. up. I just add, I yeah. Software so developer, went, web developer, you was my buddy, man. <laughs> I was like, add, 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 add. And right when you get to your, I want to say, a hundred friends, a hundred people in your network, then people just start hitting messages all the time. Oh, and it gets to the point. Cool, bro. It gets to the point where you just gotta turn it off. They they yeah, dude, I had to turn that thing off. Dude. <sighs> That's Man, it's just bro. like, dude. 